Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this new video, I'm going to show you how to create your own levels using the ProBuilder package. So ProBuilder is a package that is used to create levels like this one for prototyping. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first of all, we need to install ProBuilder and because it's a package, we need to install it using the package manager so let's go to window then package manager and let's search for pro builder and make sure to select here unity registry and let's go ahead and search for pro builder again and here's the package i'm using the version 4.4.0 so let's go ahead and select it and hit this install button also, I want to install the ProGrids package, so I highly recommend you to do that as well. So this package works well with the ProBuilder package, so let's go ahead and install it as well. So once it's done, let's go ahead and build our first level using ProBuilder. First, we need to open up the ProBuilder window, so we need to go to Tools, ProBuilder, then ProBuilder window. And here we have two modes, we have the icon mode. And also you can change this to the uh, text mode using right click use text mode. So I'm gonna uh, use the uh, icon mode. Then we need to open up the ProGrids window using tools, ProGrids and let's select ProGrids window. And from here you could change few settings. For example you can turn it off or on the snapping. Also you could change the uh, snap settings like the snap value. It is set to one unit, so let's leave it like that. And here you can change the uh, axis. By default, it's the Y axis. You could change that to X axis or the Z axis. So I'm going to leave it as default. Now let's go ahead and start creating the base of our level. So we'll use the first tool of the Pro Builder, which is the new shape tool. So this tool uses it to create shapes. So let's start by creating our first uh, shape. So you can select this and as you can see it creates this uh, cube but you could use the alt key to open up the settings window as well so I'm gonna use ctrl z then while holding alt and select this option you can change here the uh, size of the cube also you could change the shape for example you can use a star and so on for now let's go ahead and use the cube to create the base of our level so I'm going to use uh, 40 on the X, 60 on the Z, and also one unit on the Y axis. But as you can see, it's a very boring material by default. So let's go ahead and hit build to make sure we create this object. And we can change the material of it. So I'm going to go under the assets and let's create a new folder. And let's call it materials. And let's go ahead and create new one using right click create material and let's call it default then let's go ahead and drag it to the cube and then let's go ahead and change few settings from this material so you can change the color from here but I'm gonna change the texture so let's go ahead and select this option and this package pro builder comes with a few textures called the grid box so let's search for grid box but make sure to unhide the uh, assets that is used inside the package and here you see that we have uh, four uh, textures I'm gonna use the white one as the default and as you can see we have here this nice good looking grid so let's go ahead and add the walls for our base level so Pro Builder gives you the option to uh, change the uh, shape but first I'm gonna reset the position of this shape using reset so let's go ahead and select one of these tools. Basically we can select the face mode or the edge mode and the vertex mode. So basically I'm going to insert an edge loop. So we can select edge loops by selecting this edge. And then we can use Alt U to create an edge loop that is perpendicular to the uh, edge that we've selected. And then we can move this. So I'm going to move it. And because we are using the ProGrid uh, package, you see that this snaps. 
So let's use one unit from the borders. Then let's go ahead and add another one. The same thing. Select this edge. Then use Alt U. And let's go ahead and move it to the other side. And the same thing. So let's go ahead and select this one to create an edge loop that is perpendicular using Alt U shortcut. You could also use uh, this uh, tool. It's called Insert Edge Loop. But I'm using these shortcuts. And let's add another one. So let's select this option. And let's move this one to the other side. So if you made a mistake, you could use the double click to select the edge loop and check out that it's one unit from the uh, borders. Then we can extrude these faces to make the walls. But first we need to select the face mode. So I'm going to use shift space to uh, maximize this window. So let's select this face. Then shift select this one. And to extrude these faces, you can hold shift, then move this. So I'm going to make it like that. Then I'm going to create another cube in the middle. The same thing, you need to select this one, but make sure to hold alt to change few settings, like the width and the height and so on. Then let's hit build. And to move it, you need to go back to the object mode. So this is called the object mode. And let's move it on top of the base of our level. You can zoom in. Then let's hit build. And from here, you can continue with a few other settings. Let's change the X to 3. And for the Z, I'm going to use a 6. And with the same height. And let's go ahead and move this one to this side. And I'm going to put it in the middle. And let's go ahead and modify this. So here we have another tool. We can select the vertex mode. And let's go ahead and select this one. But before that, you need to build that object. I'm going to close this window. So we select this object. Then with the vertex mode selected, let's select this vertex. Shift select this one as well. And we have another tool to collapse vertices. So for example, we can merge these in the center. And here's the icon for that. So I'm going to click on it to merge these. The same thing. Let's go ahead and select this one. Then shift select this one as well. And let's merge them in the center. And then we can use the edge mode to move this a little bit down. Then let's go ahead and duplicate this one and move it to the other side using Ctrl D. Then I'm going to rotate it around the y-axis using the rotation tool. And while holding control, you could snap the rotation. Then let's go back to the move tool and let's move it to the side. Also, I want to add another shape over here in the middle. The same thing. Let's select this one while holding alt. And I'm going to change this to another shape. For example, a cylinder. Or let's go ahead and use a pipe. So I'm going to move this a little bit in the center. Same thing, you could change few settings from here, like the radius, I'm going to change it to 5. Then I want to add a room on this side. The same thing, while holding Alt, let's change this to Q. And then let's change the X to 40, the Y to 8, and the Z, I'm going to change it to 1 unit. And let's move this to this side. Then let's hit Build. And I want to create another one, but I'm going to change the Y to 1 and the Z to 5. And let's try to place that. I'm going to change the Z to 8 and move this. Also, I want to add a door over here. So let's go ahead and hit build to build this roof. Then let's go ahead and select this one to modify it. I'm going to select the edge mode. Then let's go ahead and insert few edge loops. And I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and select the face mode. Now to make the door, let's select this face. And while holding shift, let's move this in here. Then let's get rid of this face to make the door using the backspace. But you notice that we have another face over here. Let's get rid of it using the backspace. 
so I think I made a mistake from here so let's select the object mode and uh, move this a little bit down also I want to make two stairs so to create a stair let's hold alt then select this option and from here let's change the shape to stair and let's go ahead and move it over here you could change few settings like the number of steps the width the height and so on So let's go ahead and add another one to the other side using ctrl D we can duplicate this one but before that we need to build it or we can use the previous settings so I can move this one over here and let's hit build again also I want to add another platform to this side so let's go ahead and use alt and the new shape tool and let's change this back to cube then I'm gonna add another shape like this one so let's select the object then select this vertex and shift select this one and we can use the shortcut alt C to merge these in the middle the same thing let's go ahead and select these two you can also use the icon from here then let's select the edge mode and select this edge and snap it down and let's go ahead and duplicate this object using ctrl D and I'm gonna move it to the other side and let's go ahead and add a little bit of cover over here and let's go ahead and move it then let's hit build and modify this so select the object and with the edge mode selected let's add few edge loops using alt u And then let's go ahead and select this face and the same thing we need to extrude this using shift and extrude it over there and with the backspace we can get rid of the plane or the face the same thing let's get rid of it from here finally I want to add few shapes on this side and on this side as well so let's hold alt and with the new shape tool make sure to select the cube then let's go ahead and move it to this side let's hit F to focus on it I'm gonna use 1 on the X, 4 on the Y and 3 on the Z then let's hit build now I'm gonna modify it with the face mode selected let's extrude this few times so I'm gonna select this face then while holding shift and we can move this to extrude it and let's extrude it again so try to play around and uh, make your own shape using these tools I can extrude this as well so I think that's okay for now so let's go ahead and go to the object mode and uh, duplicate this few times using ctrl D then let's go ahead and duplicate them using shift I'm gonna select these three uh, meshes and let's use ctrl D as well then I'm gonna move them to this side and let's go ahead and scale them on the x-axis so we can go over here and change the x scale to minus one and let's go ahead and put them in their places and there you have it we have created this new level using the Pro Builder package so I'm gonna add few other materials but before that I think it's a little bit dark that's because the auto generating light is off so we can go to window rendering and under the lighting let's go ahead and hit this new lighting settings I'm gonna call it lighting then let's go ahead and select auto generate light or auto generate finally I want to put all of these inside one object so let's go ahead and create an empty game object I'm gonna call it map and then let's go ahead and put all of these objects inside this map empty game object and let's go ahead and add few materials I'm gonna use right click create material and let's create a green one then let's go ahead and select a texture using the grid box make sure to unhide that and let's select the green one then let's go ahead and use this material for example to these objects and let's create another one 
and I'm gonna select the brown texture and let's go ahead and use it so that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss any one of my next videos and I will see you in the next one